good. Going into this fight week, uh, you know, I was very fortunate to have Lance uh, by my side. Lance comes in, he brings a different aura to fight week. He's um, a lot more comedy, he's a lot more relaxed, makes you laugh the whole time. And uh, so I was super thankful to have Lance with me. We pull up to the forum, you know, that's when you start taking the deep breath in. Uh, everyone starts texting you that they're here. You know, you're visualizing the fight. You're walking through the tunnel. And, uh, you know, you get to the room and you see your name on everything. You you take your clothes off. You get your warm-up stuff on. You want to start moving around. You start visualizing the fight. You put music on just to have a good time and kind of keep the momentum going. And um, you know, you're watching the fights play out that are before you. Uh, some of your teammates fight ahead of you. I had Aaron Pico fighting before me. Very nerve wracking for me, uh, you know, cause he leaves it all on the line. And when he gets the knockout, you know, a side of relief kicks in and you're, you're excited for him. You're like, man, that's what I want. I want to get a knockout as well. And uh, you know, you're, you're happy for him cause you see all the hard work that he's put in has paid off. And you know that you put it in the same work and it's your time. And uh, you know, you start getting your hands wrapped, you start visualizing the fight more, you start realizing like it's getting closer and closer, all your hard work's going in. You have a locker room sharing with the teammates and uh, they're warming up and you see how enthused they are and the psychological battles they're going through and how much they want to pump themselves up. And you start seeing how ready they are and how motivated they are. And it's a cool spectacle to see and everyone's amped up back there, you know, it's kind of uh, an excited, uh, excitement of chaos. We're a very faith-based team. We have a strong um, relationship with Christ, so we love praying together, kind of the ease before the storm, you know, it's just, it's just, makes you believe in yourself that much more and what you're doing, what you're fighting for. Victory. Play for victory in your name, Father. And, uh... Then the guy that's in your room is headed out to go fight. And you're like, oh man, you're sending them off for good luck. And then, you know, it's time to warm up. So you start warming up, you start hitting pads, you start cracking, and then all the nerves go away. You're just like, okay, now it's time to go. Uh, you start raising your heartbeat, heartbeat up, you start warming up, you start dripping sweat. The commission's taping your gloves, they're in and out, they're kind of distracting you a little bit, uh, but you just got to stay focused, you know, and you got to you gotta keep confidence going. Um, you know, after the warm-up, some of the coaches are leaving, some of the, the locker room starts to empty out because of the fight before you, and then you're stuck there with yourself on making sure you're ready now. Now it's your time. Now it's your time to go. Yeah, baby. We're going to be right there for you on, buddy. That's how we get down. Uh, your your teammate came off their win. They're excited for you, and you try to carry that momentum in. And uh, you don't want to stop moving. You don't want to sit down. You just want to start thinking about the fight. <clears throat> People keep coming up to you, telling you good luck. You know, we're, you got this, and you're just like, hell yeah, man. I think I know I got this. I know I got this. Just keep moving. Hit. Don't get hit. Keep pure combos. Keep to your game plan. You know, just. And embrace the moment. Embrace the moment. You take a deep breath. You're putting on your fight clothes. You know, you're going back and forth. You don't know if you have everything. You start looking, double checking. You're looking at yourself in the mirror like, come on, man, you got this. We got, we got 15 minutes to go out there and dictate my game plan. Everything we've been working for the last 10 weeks uh, from your last loss. You know, just keep moving forward. Don't, don't let it don't let it go in, in the front of your mind. You keep pushing it back. And, uh, you know, it's just anxiety, uh, anxiousness. And, uh, you know, you got your teammate there. You, sometimes you want to move around with them, keep the warm up going, you know, keep the striking going. Okay, I got this game plan. I know what I need to do when I'm out there. And, uh, you know, you're going to dictate it no matter what. Just go out there and be yourself. Have fun, embrace the moment. You know, it's just, non-stop and you just keep taking deep breaths knowing that that you're in for a war he wants it just as bad as you do 
uh, he's he's coming off a loss. Keep him nervous. Keep him guessing. Don't stop moving. Don't stop. Don't stop creating chaos, and don't give him opportunity. Take his opportunity away. Then you start listening to music. Your music kicks in, and you're just thinking to yourself like, "Yep, this is that switch." The guy comes in. Hey, it's time to go. Let's go. You start taking a deep breath. Walk in the next room. Everyone grabs their stuff. Everyone gets their shit together. And we head downstairs. It's time for war. Going into the fight, uh, you know, it's very nerve-wracking. It's always nerve-wracking, you know, losing and then, you know, the embarrassment of losing, going into your next fight, lack of confidence going in there. Um, you're just unsure of yourself at that point, and uh, you train your butt off to get into that position, to go into a fight, and just hope that you're able to perform. And uh, I felt like fight night against Henry, I was able to stick to a game plan, even though I wanted to go outside of it, and when I did, I got punished for it, and then stuck back to the game plan. You know, my team, my coaches, yelling out, stick to the game plan, stay disciplined, and uh, there was times we let flurries out, and uh, that's when, you know, all hell broke loose, and we exchanged combinations. Uh, one time he hurt me, I hurt him, and you just go back to the game plan, because at that point, you're just trying to figure out who's going to dictate their game plan, who's going to implement their game plan, is uh, what the judges are going to score off of to win that fight. Because uh, at that point, once he hit me as hard as he could, I knew there was no way he was going to put me out. And same thing with me. I hit him as hard as I could, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to put him out, so I know it was going to go to a point system after that. And, uh, you know, we got it done, got the job done, going in there, making adjustments uh, each round by round uh, by my corner. So thank you guys for helping me out and um, you know keeping me safe I got to come home to my kids and uh, enjoy their their time on Sunday we went out to eat and uh, they were happy for my fight and called me right after my fight got to talk to them they they told me thank uh, great great job and they were proud of me so I was super blessed on that end congratulations daddy <laughs> thanks buddy what you guys think about the fight huh good good were you guys screaming yeah. yeah. I was Bobby screaming. and Ezekiel lost her voice. Yeah, when I was, we were screaming for you. Oh, nice. So, it's great being around family after the fight, uh, especially see how all the hard work that goes in while I'm always gone. Um, them watching the fight, they get to see all the hard work I put in. So, love you guys. Thank you. Dad, uh, I like when you punch the fight really hard that you <laughs> you like when I really punched him really hard? Yeah. How about when he punched me really hard? No. <laughs> Imagine saying, yeah? Yeah. All right, guys.